Hi guys, welcome back. Now we're starting with our last topic, apparently our last topic for macroeconomics, that is equity and redistribution of income and wealth. Fairly easy topic, simple stuff. This topic basically builds upon the AS concepts of um, the AS chapter of income and wealth inequality. You must be knowing that concepts, and I've shared the AS videos as well on the Google Classroom. Moving forward, for this chapter, what you are required to know is that you must know the difference between equity and equality. You must also know what equity and efficiency, what the difference between equity and efficiency. You should also know the distinction between absolute poverty and relative poverty. We will be discussing, we will have a separate video on the poverty trap as well. And the policies that are required for, you know, towards equity and, and equality, such as you have a few new policies like the, you know, uh, negative income tax, universal benefits and means tested benefits ubi that is universal basic income so we'll be just dis discussing that and for each we'll have a separate video so first we'll be kicking off uh, for in this video we'll be starting with equity and equality so this video will be based on the difference between equity and equality and in feb march 2024 you also had a three mark question in the case study that asked you about to distinguish between equity and equality okay now guys in economics the concepts of equity and equality are you know often discussed in the context of you know distributional fairness whenever you're distributing something distribution of resources or distribution of income or distribution of anything right so in that context in that context we usually discuss the concept of equity and equality and also in the context of social justice as well now while these two terms might seem quite similar at the first glance they represent quite distinct principles and different meanings with different implications for policy makers and you know, uh, subsequent society outcomes. So first we will understand what equality means and then we'll understand what equity means and then we'll see what the, is the difference between these two. So you see equality, um, you know, is basically referring to the state of being equal, equal in status, equal in rights, equal in opportunities, or equal in the distribution of resources among individuals or groups, right? So we have, so that's what equality means, that is treating everyone equally, right? And the principle of equality advocates for treating, like I said, the principle of equality advocates for treating all individuals or groups in the same manner same manner regardless of their differences in you know circumstances so the so the concept of equality would ignore um, you know differences in circumstances needs and abilities right so I'll, I'll you know i'll give you an example so for example let's say that i'm teaching a class and let's say in the class you have you know uh, three students right and um, in that particular class those out of those three students one is very very smart and you know he understands the concepts very quickly while the other two are comparatively less smarter right so obviously but you see so if i have to distribute my limited scarce time between these three students then i am supposed to probably you know end up giving a bit more time to the less smarter students or the weak students and probably more and probably less time to the to the smarter kid who's already quite smart and he's already aware of the things and he's already prepared well he doesn't need a lot of help but but, but jab hum equality ke principles se baat karenge na equality so i would be distributing equal time to everyone like I said, the definition says, regardless of their differences in circumstances, needs, and abilities. So that's what equality is. Equality is advocating for treating all individuals or groups in the same manner. I have a classroom example. Right? So le le let's say you have a policy, the government comes up with a policy of equality in healthcare. So that might involve providing the same level of you know medical coverage and services to all citizens regardless of their income or you know health status so when you're promoting so policies that will be designed economic policies designed to you know promote equality you know often focuses on you know ensuring uniform uniform treatment and access you know to resources or opportunities for all the individuals in society and the economy such as you know let's say universal health care equal pay equal pay legislation so you so, so so an equal pay legislation would be everyone should have an equal pay regardless of whatever abilities and skills he is so the doctor and the janitor should have an equal pay right so that could be so so or let's say you know anti-discriminatory laws anti-discrimination laws again anti-discrimination laws 
would definitely promote um, equality because these laws would ensure that individuals um, are treated equally regardless of whatever race gender you know they belong to right so again so the focus is when you're saying equality what you're saying is everyone has to be treated equally so the teacher is going to treat all the three students equally regardless of probably you know and give him equal time regardless of one student is a smarter kid versus the other student who is less smarter right so that's what the concept of equality is and let's say equality in the distribution of income like i've written over here as well would mean that everyone earns the same amount like i said everyone earns the same amount regardless of what skills he or she provides or whatever he or she b brings on the table right so if i have two employees working under me equality would say that you know both of them should be paid the same amount regardless of maybe person a is smarter than person b and he's bringing more value on the table right so the, again the state of being equal in status rights opportunities or, or the distribution of resources among individuals or groups so everything has to be equal so equality is not the same and equality like i said terms they appear similar but but distinct in ke meanings hai so so equality is like i said treating everyone the same way right now let's see what equity is and now guys if we talk about equity right so equity is basically referring to the, the two key terms that you need to use is it refers to fairness and justice in the distribution of resources in opportunities fairness in, in the sort of opportunities that are given fairness in terms of outcomes taking into basically it takes into account the individual differences and the individual needs and circumstances everyone's circumstances are different everyone's needs are different are different right so based on that you you make your policies and your approach you your approaches um while on the other hand equality was like equal treatment for all so agar wo students wali jo maine example di thi thoda sa usko change kare agar hum for example let's say that you i have two students in a class a and b while a is a smart kid and while b is a weak kid and i come to class i give one hour to a i give one hour to b right mai so ek ghanta i allocate time for a ek one hour mai b ko allocate karu so pehle mai ek ghanta a ko dun uske baad mai ek ghanta b ko dun and then that's it so this is equality i have given one hour to each so equal treatment ab the thing is that b is a weak kid right his individual needs are different he needs more time right he needs more time to understand more time to process things more time to learn things so probably i should have given him let's say one and a half hour or two hour whatever the according to individual needs are right to agar main one hour is a ko de raha hu ab a ke liye one hour kafi hai a ke liye one hour kafi hai right a ko one hour se zyada ki zarurat nahi hai one hour mein uska kaam ho raha hai usko samajh aa raha hai lekin one hour b ke liye enough nahi hai na lekin so equality hai इक्वल ट्रीटमेंट है इर रिस्पेक्टिव तो इक्वालिटी बेसिकली इस चीज को कंसिडर नहीं करती इंडिविजुअल सर्कमस्टांसिस को नीड्स को कंसिडर नहीं करती इक्विटी करती है अगर मेरा आउटकम या मेरी रिसोर्स एलोकेशन में मिसा के द्वारा मेरी एग्जाम्पल में इट वॉज टाइम सो द टाइम दट आई एम एलोकेटिंग वॉज बेस्ड ऑन इक्विटी दैट इज फेयरनेस एंड जस्टिस आई वुड हैव टेकन बीज इंडिविजुअल नीड टू अकाउंट एंड आई वुड हैव गिवन एम टू आर्स बी को अगर मैं टू आर्स दे रहा हूं एंड वन आर में ए को दे रहा हूं सो ये इक्विटी है कि भाई ए को वन आर की जरूरत है ए को वन आर दो बी को टू आर्स की जरूरत है अब टू आर्स बी को दो ठीक है तो दिस इज वॉट बेसिकली इन शॉर्ट इक्विटी इज सो इक्विटी इज रेफरिंग टू फेयरनेस एंड जस्टिस इन योर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रिसोर्स इन दी अपॉर्चुनिटीज एट आर गिवन इन दी आउटकम्स यू नो वेन यू टेक इन टू अकाउंट इंडिविजुअल यू नो डिफरेंसेज एंड नीड्स एंड सर्कमस्टांसिस and the equity principle emphasizes that individual should receive resources whatever resources that you are giving them those resources can be intangible or let's say a service form whatever it is whatever sort of things any individual is given um kuch bhi ho sakta hai health benefits bhi ho sakte hain ya koi income ho sakti hai so whatever it is and whatever resources they are they are given or whatever opportunities they are given that that is basically based on their specific needs and circumstances rather than you know treating everyone equally jaise equality mein hota hai right for example agar hum education ki baat kare so isi example ko you know if you were to write in the exam so how how can you write this example in the exam you could say in education you know equity may involve providing additional resources and additional support to students from let's say disadvantaged backgrounds वैसे यहां disadvantaged backgrounds could be probably students who are coming from 
any sort of disadvantage background where they they don't have you know access to good quality education probably and they require more time for teachers from teachers right say you know in university or whatever so support to students from disadvantaged backgrounds you could give this example as well to ensure that you know they have um, a good opportunity for academic success so that they have an so that they are not left out taki wo disparity avoid ho jaye to us disparity ko avoid karne ke liye you know individual needs need to be catered and this could involve you know programs such as you know extra hours given or extra tutoring or may may maybe let's say scholarships given to ye bhi bahut acche example ho sakti hai scholarships given to you know students who coming from um, financially weak backgrounds or maybe some sort of an specialized uh, you know tutor given बिकॉज वो नीड होगी उस स्टूडेंट की पर्टिकुलर स्टूडेंट की राइट सो वैन यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट पॉलिसीज राइट पॉलिसीज सो एंड पॉलिसी इम्प्लीकेशन जो है इसकी यू नो फॉर इक्विटी आई मीन पॉलिसी मेकरस मस्ट नो के वट सॉर्ट ऑफ पॉलिसीज आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग एंड वट सॉर्ट ऑफ आउटकम्स इट विल हैव के वेदर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन यू नो वेदर इट विल हैव वेदर यू आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग अ पॉलिसी दैट इज यू नो इक्वल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर ऑल और वेदर दोज पॉलिसीज आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड बेस्ड ऑन इक्विटी प्रिंसिपल्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल let's say you want to distribute incomes you are you want that the distribution of income in the economy um should be should should have you know equity in it right so equity in the distribution of income would involve fairness and justice in income distribution you could do that through different macroeconomic policies like you know you could through progressive taxation the best example progressive taxes where you place higher tax rates on wealthy people as compared to you know lower taxes on um on low income earners high taxes on people who are high, who are rich and wealthy and low taxes on low income earners right so again based on their individual needs right and providing you know transfer payments and social benefits to people who are in need of it right so that's that that's so such macroeconomic policies are based on the concept of equity right so when you're talking about equity in the distribution of income that is you know distribution of income is equitable that is fair so what we are doing essentially here is that you know let's say we have policies designed for equitable distribution of income you know through transfer payments and progressive taxes or maybe you know need based scholarships to students who need financial assistance so for university education so what this does is all of this what this does is that it creates fairness in society and fairness in the distribution of income which then also creates equal opportunities for the entire society because of this and the development of the society as a whole right so like if i were to sum up quickly the key differences between you know equality and equity so for example the focus if i if i talk about the focus of equality and equity so equity is focusing on addressing you know the disparities and ensuring fairness that is based on individual circumstances so that you know in terms of fairness and justice and that's why we are saying that it is it's basically addressing the disparities and while on the other hand equality is focusing on uniform treatment emphasizes uniform treatment and distribution of resources regardless of individual needs and differences right and in terms of outcomes if you but you ask me what is the difference in terms of outcomes focus mein main aapko focus kya hai dono ko bataya maine outcome mein difference kya hai dono ke so what is equity trying to achieve while what is equality trying to achieve outcome kya hai so equity aims to achieve fair outcomes by taking into account where, you know varying needs and circumstances more or less the same point while equality aims for equal outcomes without necessarily addressing um underlying disparities or you know differences now one thing that you guys should be knowing is that you know when we measure income equality or we are measuring the income inequality right we use the lorentz curve um for that and i'll make a separate video entirely on the lorentz curve so one thing so so you see one of the things that economists need to do is that they need to see the distribution of income that is you know how equally or unequally it is distributed to see how unequal the distribution of income is right so that we can then figure out how to redistribute that income right 
first we'll figure out how unequal it is and then we need to figure out how to redistribute that income through let's say progressive taxation to provide more equitable outcomes in society in which you know we are governing right so what i'm saying is what i'm trying to say is that we need to understand how unequal the distribution of income is in a country which obviously the the lorenz curve will help us do so that we as economists or policy makers can then suggest how we should redistribute that income in the most equitable way right so now since i'm towards ending this video one thing since you have understood what you know the concept of equity versus equality is you must also understand that you know for policy makers they have to achieve achieving a balance between you know equity and equality is often the goal of policy makers and you know the government or the social planners and obviously while both these principles are important there can be situations where you know one could take precedence over the other depending upon the context and objectives but you see our objective is to you know have have a you know balance between um equity and equality and how can we achieve that i mean one of the ways in which you know this balance can be achieved for example let's say in in the distribution of educational resources ki agar hum baat kare if the government is you know deciding the distribution of educational resources so a balance between an example of the ba- of balance between equity or a good balance between equity and equality could could might involve you know um, providing equal funding to all the schools be it the richest of the schools or the poorest of the schools let's say while at the same time you know allocating some additional resources to those schools serving maybe you know let's say disadvantaged communities in the society so here we have striked a good balance between equality and equity right so equity and equality both are you know they have they represent distinct principles but interconnected principles in economics and each have its own you know implications for you know policy and justice you know social justice and by understanding you know the differences between equity and equality policy makers can end up designing more effective strategies for you know promoting fairness and at the same time addressing inequality in society right guys so that's it i'll be ending the video here now i'll see you all in the next video until then take care